where the fraction is equivalent to 0 0.494949 forever. Here's the procedure you need to follow to convert your repeating decimal into a fraction. The first step is to let x equal the repeating decimal. Next, multiply both sides of the equation by a power of 10. Which one? Well, it could be either 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. How do you know which one to use? Well, it depends on how many repeating digits there are in the decimal. In this case, there are two repeating digits. So the number needs to be 100, which has two zeros in it. When you multiply the left-hand side by 100, you get 100x. On the other side, just move your decimal place over two places to the right. Third step, subtract the first equation from the second. It's going to look like this. The nice thing about this setup is that you're going to get a lot of cancellations over here. 9 minus 9, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, 9 minus 9, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, and so on. Over here you're going to have 49 minus 0 is 49, and then on the other side of the equation, 100x minus x is 99x. Fourth step, just try to get x by itself. In this case, just divide both sides by 99. When you do that, the 99s cancel, you're left with just x. And the answer is going to be 49 99s.